this is the end of an era, oh. an era that you have been a big part of. You texted me randomly on a YouTube comment and you told me, hey, I just came to London and I, I would, would like, like to hang out. I would like to party with you and your friends. That's yes. what I said because the, you were having so much fun doing the videos and I said, oh, this is the kind of people I want to be friends here in London. I had just arrived and we are friends ever since. Thank you very much. But here much. we are children, last episode. Madam X. I said, good morning. Welcome back to with you. You can call me B and I'm here with James. I'm going to participate on, in this record because it's a lot of it is spoken in Portuguese, which is my original language. Right, that's what you said the first time we spoke and you were like, hey, have you done Madame X? Because I can come and film because you know, I speak Portuguese and I'm like, I have so many more things to film. So let's do Madame X today. It's my last days in London. In a week I'll be gone, I'll be gone. Yeah, but he has an island in Greece. Yeah, so. I, don't, I don't own the island. I'm from there. Still. I just start with this bullshit. <laughs> The first song is called Medellin. Cha cha cha. One, two, two, one. I took a pill and had a dream. You también. It wouldn't be my first option as a lead single. The commercial appeal. She wanted to appeal to Maluma's audience. Uh -huh. and the fandom here didn't appreciate it. Yeah. When the, the song came out, people were like, uh, I was so underwhelmed and it's too long. You know, it should have been. Too I loved, I loved the video. I loved the, the theme. Is... Allowed myself to be naive. Dime. I will give it a cash. It's not something that I think about when I think of Madonna. As an era, I thought it was a good start. Yeah. I, I didn't shit on the track as much as the rest of London did. Something about Madonna's fan base. I think they are pretty racist and xenophobic. It happened with Hard Candy. A lot of people like from the fandom were saying like, oh, I don't have, I don't like this black uh, approach, Madonna's taking, blah, blah, blah. I don't think this is, this album and this project is full of single material. At all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would say it's a cash, but every time I listen to this album, you skip it. I skip it. Me too, I always skip it, but I do, but I always play it because I like the vibe. No. Dark Ballet. Oh, the next one is called Dark Ballet. I can dress like a boy. I think I think that. I can dress like a girl. I think this is by far one of the top five Madonna's videos Okay, ever. wow. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's that's a huge statement. Yeah, it's a bold statement and I think the videos in this era are one of the best on her career ever. I, I agree on that. That I never learned. <laughs> you keep mentioning Dark Ballet as one of your like hot stuff. I don't love, I think it's a great musical project, but as a song, to be second in an album. Oh my God, and for me, every time I start, I start the album with it. I think it's a good intro for an album, to be honest. I, I'll give it a cash, of course. I'd give a cash, a high cash for the song. I was I'll surprised it, it was a single, was it a single? No, but it had a video. It, it wasn't a single, but it had a video. The next one is called God Control. I love it. Are you serious? I love this song. Pause it. The beginning when she's like so muffled and you know, she doesn't open her mouth. Obviously, it's a stylistic option. Um, analyze it and see the messages. I think it's clear that her singing with her mouth closed is that they're trying to muzzle us and they try to silence us and also i think she's also giving voice for those who cannot speak anymore because they are dead okay yes. especially in the united states and brazil that after two progressive governments from like obama and from lula then it comes this wave of conservatism and then she says everybody knows the damn truth our nation lied with lost respect this is a wake up call we don't have to fall. yeah 
Yeah, this is my ambulance. My, no, my ambulance, obviously, obviously this is, is the, the best, best song, song of the, in album. the album. <laughs> yes. People think that I'm insane. The only gun is in my brain. I think it ticks a lot of boxes. It it, it is disco, which I live. Mm -hmm. It has a dramatic beginning. It has the choir with the children singing, you know, the theme of the song. It's highly political. It has a message. It's it has a current. point of view. It's current. Yeah. It's also a fun song. When the when the disco beat comes in, you can help but dance. I don't necessarily think it's a song to play with your gaze and be like, let's go to the club, put God control, so we can. It's not. Each new perfect gives me hope. That's why I don't smoke that dope. But what Dark Ballet misses is the fun. Yeah. Like it or not, Madonna is good to have fun with. Just being entertainment. No, I'm gonna be serious and like I'm gonna I don't, do something that is not necessary. And I fun. love that. I yeah. love that. I I do think there's a lot of fun missing from the album. Maybe the woke fandom appreciates the fact that she took her time to actually give a message instead of be like every little thing. Yeah, <laughs> right. Which we love, right? We love hang up. We love four minutes. <laughs> Madonna is going in, her, in the end of her career, okay? Yeah. So I hope that we get one last album to be like, if this is American Life, I'm waiting for confessions. Yeah, this is American Life, not only because it was produced by the same producer of music and American Life. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, it's This is one of the best videos. It's one, I mean, I like what I like most about this video is because it's a political statement. Yeah. But and in the video, she makes us be uncomfortable because she wants to reproduce this ter terrible idea of not being able to enjoy the things that we used to because of gun terrorism. Yeah, I've seen and the it things that are being taken from us yes and the things that are being taken it's from us and that we don't pay attention to it because oh, that we don't act back yeah because the video is exactly this it's like backwards so it's first they are being killed yeah then second she's being robbed at the gunpoint yeah and the first scene is she getting ready to go to the club and seeing news of gunshots in, oh, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. in a school and she's just like following the, their life and that's what we this are doing this video is truly the moment the next, like, the next one is called future Mambo. not everyone is coming to the future Having been through a pandemic, <laughs> you listen to this in a different way. When Madonna uses reggae beats that I don't live for, really? it's, I just don't love it. Same with Unapologetic Bitch. I think the hook is a little tired, I don't think it's very inventive. The, the message is about the environment because in the concert, it's just her on the piano, there's no reggae, uh, the Amazon burning. Yeah, oh, yeah. I didn't know that this is the actual message. Yes, that's that the whole makes message. a song way better. A lot we of made it to do, this future. To this future. Don't, don't yeah. get too cocky. Yeah. I will <laughs> Not everyone can come into the future. Not everyone that's here is gonna last. <laughs> I, will, I will have to give this one a pass. I give this one a cash because it, I like it. The next one is called Batuka. Batuka, okay. That was a good video. Okay, do you wanna talk visuals? Yes. That was one that I and had to, this, that I learned a lot by watching the video and researching, looking at the comments to see exactly what happened. This one, they are singing a Catholic uh, chant that Maria, Mãe de Jesus, Mary, Mother of Jesus, and then the Batucadeiras that are these women who plays, you know, the Batucada was a rhythm played by these women from Cabo Verde, it's where the, 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 the Portuguese started slavery. I will give it a cash, even though it's not my favorite in the album. I give a cash, although... Because I, maybe I don't understand it 100% culturally, but how often do some, is someone putting the songs to enjoy them? Like, I think it's like a movie, you know, that you will yeah. watch it when you're in the mood and you will have one thing, but it's not that I will put it when I'm cycling. No. The next song is called Killers Who Party. Our party. Killers Who Are Party In. Obviously, she's, she means that 
she will be the, at the side of those who yeah, are yeah, oppressed. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Which, I, th I think that's very obvious. Which is the part in Portuguese. Like if you, if you say that kids are exploited, let's become the kids. Let's stick together. Let's yeah, stop that. That's yeah. what she's saying. Obvi I think that's very obvious. Several yeah. times and I cried a lot. I did not. I did not. Because you don't speak Portuguese. Okay, it, so what does the yeah, Portuguese it, say? It, Wild is the world and lonely is the path. Again, lovely theme, lovely message, great construction of the song. I don't feel like it's a good song. I feel like it's a project. It is a cash because it is well put together. Again, cash. I like it. It's one of my favorite songs in the album and it was really? very, and it was very emotional to me. The next one is called Crave. This is a good song. I'm tired of being far away from home, far from walking home. Cravings you take. I don't love the video but okay. now this is an example that Madonna tries to do something I guess quote unquote more youthful, something more modern, something that is trending, which is like a regular regular trap beat. But she does it in a very successful way. Cause you're the one I crave And my cravings get dangerous The feelings never fade I don't think we should play with this She puts it on her standards She didn't try to, I guess, rap, trap yeah. Or try to do like Follow the trend Madonna. Yeah. Which I, I love, love, which I love, I love I love It's definitely a cash I, this is one song that when it comes, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. okay, I will listen to it. The so next song is called Crazy. This is this is one of my least favorites. No, I don't like it. I'm thinking sometimes that she could have made this into an EP instead of a full album and avoid fillers like this. <laughs> Crazy. One of the favorite songs of the album of the general public. Is it? Yes. Honestly, I want all you to comment and tell me what you think of this specific song. Because I feel like this is so unnecessary to go. Crazy. And I'm just so shocked because when you have songs like this and you have them so close to Batuka or God Control, it kind of cheapens the, the purpose to me. To me. In my opinion. So this is it. It's a trash for me. For me, it's a cash. No. Yeah. No, it ain't a cash. Okay. Come alive. Filler. I love Filler it. queen. No. Did you like that song as well? I. It's what... After God Control, no. this is my second favorite song. No. Yes, it is. I, yeah, the, your, I don't know. Dream dream is alive. Come on, come on. I can react how you thought I'd react. No. I do not like this. I, this is also trash for me. No, 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 no. Shh. I would not talk about it. No, it's a cash. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes, it's one of my favorite songs in this album. Because I don't want your opinion. Who you talking to? I will always be flirting and I want you to know <laughs> to, my, to my future husbands I will not stop flirting This is the way I live my life Good, no I'm... Oh, okay. Next song is called Extreme Occident Extreme Occident Okay, you'll be surprised But I love this one So beautiful Come here, come, so come beautiful. make a cameo in our video Me. Oh my god what do you think of Madonna's last album? Look at that! Yeah? So cute! I guess I'm lost. Oh my god! This is one of the best. Oh, there oh, is another, another one. Another one. Come here, you too. Yep, yep, play nice. Play nice. The thing that hurt the most. Here we have a reflexive. She is making an album in Portugal and she is addressing the Portuguese musicality that has a lot of influences from Africa from North Africa from sub-saharan Africa 
and obviously their own creations that is Fado is one of them yeah so that's why so that's why I said she's not confused at all she knew I don't think exactly what she was I'm just doing. I'm just saying like a comment yeah. that I've heard about this song and it stuck with me Life is a circle. This is like a song that every time it comes on, like I love the tracks. It's a cash for me, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, it's a cash for me too. Life is a circle. Life is a circle. Life the next one is called Fast Gostos. Anita. Anita. Oh, Fast Gostos. Okay, this song is good. I'm sorry. Okay. Um. Uh, not my favorite song. I always pass. I thought that this would be, would have been a single. It was supposed to be a single. The Brazilians loved that she recorded with Anita because Anita is huge. Yeah. In the record because it's a funk by a Portuguese funkera. Okay. And, okay. Yeah. A cash from me. Yeah, for me it's a pass. Wow. Not a trash. You but really, you really don't like this. Song. I really don't care. Okay. The next one is called Bitch I'm Loca. Mm -hmm. Right? Madonna. No. Maluma. Bitch I'm Loca. I love Bitch I'm Loca. Loca. I love. Okay, why don't you like Bitch I'm Loca? Bitch I'm Loca, besame la boca. Yeah, I like it because of this. It's a beat. That is for me. This is another trash. Ah, uh, yeah, no, I like it. And I I'll like tell you song. why. It's unnecessary. You already had Maluma. I don't know what is it with Maluma taking a, I taking agree a single with that. and then going in the album to have another one. You don't. You, you're if, not needed in if, the song. If I would edit this album, I would cut this one. I would cut Faz Gostoso. No. Yes. I would. Faz Gostoso is fun. This song, this album needs some fun. I would just change the feature and I would, I would put Pablo Vitar. Maybe. Instead of Maluma. Yeah, that is a good, and The song is called Bitch I'm Loca. Why you, why you have Maluma on it? But I like... Finally enough love. I don't search, I find. I don't search, I find, okay. Hello, I love it. Vogue. I love it. Right? Okay, I love it. It's a cash. It is. We don't need to speak more about no, this. No, it's... I found love. Looking for mercy. I don't like the song. I don't like the song. It's a trash for me. I don't even want to talk about it. Can you skip? Skip it, yes. Good, yeah. I don't think it's the worst song in the album. No, it's not. But I do think it's don't know what we're talking oh. about, that we're too young to I Rise. The final song of the album is called I Rise. We know Madonna to be, for y'all, the fans, to be a legendary closer. So all the closings on the albums are like very discussed around the fandom. As a musician, uh. I would just think this is my last statement to the world, to my fandom. Oh. I mean, now her last statement is the, the levitating remix. But um, I just think it should have more emotion, less beat, less, you know, mixed vocals. I, I needed something to, to finish it that would really leave a stamp. And this was just very simple simple vocal melody, very basic, like Greg Kirsten kind of beat. Uh, not basic, I don't mean it in a bad way, but it was sim very simplistic. And I'm thinking that you left um, MDNA with uh, Falling Free. That could have been a swan song. Don't leave us on I Rise. I do, I do understand that the message is very powerful. I hope her next album has a lot more moments and I hope she releases one more album. Oh yeah, I hope so. I, you know, I've been filming Madonna for a long time now and I don't want to leave this journey on a pass. <laughs> we still have I'm Breathless to record. You're right, it's a pass. <laughs> Cash, but it's not like a high cash. I mean, it's a song that I always listen to. Okay. You know? So let's just put the 2010s 
Madonna in order. Mm. MDNA, Rebel Heart, and Madame X. Madame X would be my first. Okay, I feel like Rebel Heart has the best singles. Yeah, and then... But it's such a huge album that I just cannot help but dislike big chunks of it. Mm -hmm. MDNA... It's fun. ...makes sense it's when, fun. You, when yeah. you listen to it. And I don't like the deluxe version, but the regular one, like even some girls that I don't love it, I has good production. So, I, I... And then Madame X, I really shouldn't be compared to anything. Yeah, because it's like... Because it's very on its, it's own. Crafty. It's crafty. It's a project, yeah. It's craft. But if, yeah. we, if we have to say your favorite Madonna albums, and Madame X is an album, a musical album at the end of the day, mm -hmm. give me your ranking. So I would put Madame X in the bottom, mm -hmm. Rebel Heart, and then MDNA. It's Madame X, Rebel Heart, and MDNA. Okay. Yeah. We have the exact opposite. Yeah. Let me know your ranking of... The 2010s. The, the tens. And tell me your top three Madonna albums. This is the end of the, of the era. Well, let's rank all the albums now. So can I go first? Yes. Like a Virgin. It's your le least favorite. Least favorite. Uh, True Blue. No. Your heart. Madonna. Madonna. Really? Like a Prayer. Madame X Rebel Heart. Heart Candy. Confessions on the Dance Floor. MDNA. Music. I'm Breathless. America. Ray of Light, I guess. Erotica, American Life, Bedtime Stories, Evita. Oh, all right. My least favorite album you already know is American Life. Then Bedtime Stories. And then, then is MDNA, Rebel Heart, Heart Candy. Madonna. Then it comes Madonna, Evita. Then I'm Breathless. Then Madame X. Confessions on the Dance Floor, Music, Like a Prayer, Ray of Light, and Erotica. That's my list. Thank you. Thank for, you. For being with us in this journey. Yes. Thank you. Oh, thank you. For being... Thank you for like all your comments. I've read them all and I, I took my time to respond, but I thank you for just sticking and giving me your comments. I do appreciate it. Have a lovely evening. Have a lovely day, whatever you do. Oh. <laughs>